The General Electric GE36 was an experimental aircraft engine, a hybrid between a turbofan and a turboprop, known as an unducted fan UDF, or prop fan. The GE36 was developed by General Electric Aircraft Engines, with its CFM International equal partner Snecma taking a 35% share of development. Topic development General Electric GE started performing studies and component test work on the concept that would become the UDF in 1981, based on the initial results of early National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA propfan technology studies that the Aerospace Agency first released to engine makers in 1980. GE then followed up with full-scale development testing of the GE-36 starting in 1982. NASA gave GE a $20.4 million contract in February 1984 to study the concept after the company showed the agency its work in December 1983, as NASA's own prop fan research efforts were advancing at a slower pace and were dependent on additional grants from the U.S. Congress. Around the same time, GE was negotiating with Boeing, which felt that the UDF technology could be useful for short-haul airliners, to test a demonstration engine on a Boeing 727 testbed. Agreement to flight test the UDF was reached in April, with flights beginning in late 1986 to assess a 25,000 pounds force 110 kilonewtons demonstrator based on a General Electric F404 core. The engine would have a pair of six-stage contra-rotating free turbines, each with large diameters running at slow speeds, and they would be connected directly to a couple of eight-blade, 12-foot diameter 3.7 meters, 140 in, 370 centimeters unducted fans. The effective bypass ratio BPR was estimated to be about 30 to 1 for the UDF, which was much larger than the 6 to 1 bypass ratios of modern turbofans at the time, but less than propeller turboprop BPRs of approximately 50 to 1. The optimal mission would be on 1000 nautical miles, 1200 miles, 1900 kilometers flights with a cruise speed of Mach 0.75. In May 1984, Boeing began testing a GE Contra rotating model test rig in its 9 by 9 feet, 2.7 by 2.7 meters low speed wind tunnel and 8 by 12 feet, 2.4 by 3.7 meters transonic wind tunnel. GE unveiled a full scale model of the engine at the Farnborough Air Show in September, promising a 30% reduction in fuel consumption compared to current airliner engines without decreasing the cruise speed. A dozen airlines invited themselves to see GE's UDF test facilities near Cincinnati, Ohio, claimed the engine maker, but not just due to the UDF's higher fuel efficiency. Airlines also appreciated the UDF's lack of a gearbox, which transfers power from the turbine to the propeller while allowing both to run at their respective optimal rotational speeds, but was difficult to design reliably for high speed and power. They also liked that the UDF had contra-rotating fans, as opposed to the single rotating fans that NASA was primarily studying, since the double fans kept the diameter for a 140-seat airliner down to about 12 feet meters instead of the 20 feet meters diameters the airlines feared. At the Paris Air Show in mid-1985, Snecma announced that it had obtained a 35% stake in the engine program. Later in the decade, the 25,000-pound force thrust 110 kilonewton engine became the power plant of choice for proposed aircraft such as the Boeing 7J7 Twin Isle Airliner and the MD-91 and MD-92 derivatives of McDonnell Douglas's popular MD-80 single aisle airplane. The engine underwent 2,500 hours of model-scale testing, after which a prototype was built. 
The prototype engine was ground tested for 162 hours. The GE36 prototype then flew 25 times, accumulating over 41 hours of flight test time out of a planned 75 hours on a Boeing 727 from August 20, 1986 until mid-February of 1987, eventually reaching a flight speed of Mach 0.84 and altitude of 39,000 feet 12,000 meters. In April 1987, Boeing formally selected the GE-36 as the powerplant for the Boeing 7J-7, deeming the IAE Superfan turbofan as less fuel efficient and the Pratt & Whitney, Allison 578DX propfan as insufficiently powered. GE's proof-of-concept engine also flight tested on a McDonnell Douglas MD-80 from May 18, 1987, initially using an 8-blade forward and 8-blade aft fan configuration, then being replaced with a 10-blade forward, 8-blade aft setup. Despite being quieter in that configuration, the engine was reverted to the original 8x8 configuration because of a mechanical problem. GE also confirmed that for production, there would be more blades than on the demonstrator engine, and the number of blades on the front fan would be different from the number on the back fan. Through April 1988, the MD-80 testbed had performed 93 flights and 165 flight test hours, cruising at a speed up to Mach 0.865 and an altitude of 37,000 feet 11,000 meters. The totals included more than 20 customer demonstration flights that hosted 110 executives from 35 airlines and four leasing companies, plus 70 representatives of media, the United States military, suppliers, and other airline manufacturers. The general opinion that the ride quality was little different than a normal flight, except for light vibration in the back seat during takeoff and climb. McDonnell Douglas reinstalled the GE-36 engine onto the MD-80 testbed for additional flight tests in July 1988. The testbed airplane was then flown across the Atlantic Ocean on August 23, leaving Edwards Air Force Base in California and stopping in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Gander, Newfoundland, Canada, and Keflavik, Iceland before ending the 4,700 NMI trip 5,400 miles, 8,700 kilometers in Farnborough Airport in England. The airframer flew the testbed on public demonstration flights daily at the Farnborough Air Show on September 4–11, 1988. GE 36 testing on the MD-80 finished that month after 137 flights and nearly 240 flight hours. In total, there were 281 hours of flight tests between the two airplanes. The downfall of this engine at the time was economic conditions mostly a major drop in oil prices post-OPEC oil embargo. Even though these engines never made it past development and prototype testing, GE has retained the carbon composite technology behind the lightweight fan blades, which during the prototype testing phase weighed 22.5 and 21.5 pounds 10.2 and 9.8 kilograms each on the front and back propellers, respectively, and were expected to weigh less than 20 pounds 9.1 kilograms by the time the engine engine entered production. Carbon fiber blades are currently being used in engines General Electric GE90 and General Electric Gen X that powered the Boeing 747, Boeing 777, and Boeing 787 Dreamliner. General Electric donated one of the GE36 engines to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum via the Naval Air Systems Command in 1991. Topic. Design A General Electric F-404 military turbofan on loan from the American government was used as the basis for the GE-36 prototype. 
The F404 mixed exhaust stream discharged through a turbine which drove two contra-rotating stages of fans. Although the demonstrator engines had 8x8 and 10x8 fan blade configurations, the most efficient setup that was tested had a 12x10 blade configuration. The scimitar shape of the fan rotor blades can operate at high velocities to match turbojet or turbofan speeds, allowing the engine to power the proposed Boeing 7J7 airliner at a Mach 0.83 cruise speed. The power turbine was a seven-stage initially six-stage turbine plus inlet and outlet guide vanes. The 14 turbine blade rows rotated alternate rows in opposite directions. Each stage was a pair of rotors, there were no stators. The counter-rotating turbine ran at half the RPM of a conventional turbine, so it did not require a reduction gearbox to drive the fan. The contra-rotating propellers spun at a maximum rotational speed of at least 1,393 revolutions per minute. A new core instead of the off-the-shelf F-404 was being constructed to increase efficiency, and the compressor, combustor, and turbine had all been run separately by late 1988. The engine demonstrated an extremely low specific fuel consumption of 0.232 pounds per pound thrust per hour, which GE claimed was over 20% more efficient than any of the existing turbofans on offer. The engine configuration selected for the MD-91 and MD-92 was designed to meet the Chapter 4 Community Noise Standards of the International Civil Aviation Organization's ICAO's Committee on Aviation Environmental Protection CAEP, which would go into effect in 2006 and be a reduction of 10 effective perceived noise decibels EPNDB from the existing Chapter 3 standards that were established established in 1977. The regulatory compliance, however, caused a 5% reduction in fuel efficiency compared to the most efficient fan configuration. Topic. Variants GE 36B14 14,000 lbf thrust 62 kilonewtons engine powering the McDonnell Douglas MD-91X GE36B22A 25,000 lbf thrust 110 kilonewtons engine powering the Boeing 7J7 GE36C25 25,000 lbf thrust, 110 kilonewtons, engine powering the 165-seat McDonnell Douglas MD-92. A 22,000 lbf thrust, 98 kilonewtons, derated version will power the 114-seat MD-91. Topic: Specifications. Data from GE Engine Test, page 17. Topic: General Characteristics. Type: Gearless, contra-rotating, pusher unducted fan with modified production F404 turbofan gas generator. Length: Diameter 76.4 in 194 cm 6.37 feet 1.94 meters maximum nacelle diameter Forward fan diameter 140.0 in 356 cm 11.67 feet 3.56 meters Aft fan diameter 10 forward blade plus 8 aft blade setup, 132.0 in 335 cm, 11.00 feet, 3.35 meters. 
Aft fan diameter, 8 forward blade plus 8 aft blade setup, 128.0 in 325 cm, 10.67 feet, 3. 25 meters. Dry weight. Topic: Components. Compressor, three-stage axial flow, rotor speed 16,810 revolutions per minute. Turbine, one-stage low pressure, one-stage high pressure. Topic: Performance. Maximum thrust 25000 lbf 110 kilonewtons at 1393 revolutions per minute Overall pressure ratio 26 to 1 Bypass ratio 35 Air mass flow about 140 pounds mass per second Turbine inlet temperature, 1,310 degrees Fahrenheit 710 degrees Celsius Specific fuel consumption, 0. 0.232 pounds, pound thrust per hour Thrust to weight ratio, 8 to 1 Topic. Applications Boeing 727 test bed Boeing 7J7 proposed McDonnell Douglas MD81 UHB test bed McDonnell Douglas MD94X proposed Topic see also comparable engines Pratt and Whitney Allison 578DX Progress D27 Rolls-Royce RB3011 related lists list of aircraft engines